Hello, everybody. This is Yoko's Band of Anime Reactions, and this is going to be my review for Sword Art Online episode 14. How this episode ended, I was not expecting. And yet, it shouldn't have surprised me at the slightest because Salem and Crystal was like this as well, where we had two arcs in one, essentially, in one season. Like, because that one had the uh, Queen Barrel arc and then the Black Moon arc. You know, it shouldn't surprise me that this did this too. But, uh, while everybody is resting after defeating the monster, Kirito realizes something. Heathcliff, the guy who's in charge of the guild, is the big bad boss. Because he attacks him and there is a thing that popped up just like it did for Yui that said immortal object. Which means he can t manually turn that off so he has administrative privileges at least. So yeah, he explains that, yes, it is me. I am the big bad boss. I'm the one who trapped you guys all in here. And he gives Kirito an ultimatum. If you can beat me here, I will release everybody in the game and the game is cleared. Because that's essentially how they're supposed to clear the game is to beat him. To keep other people from interfering, though, he paralyzes everybody except himself and Kirito. The way Kirito is talking to everybody before the thing starts, it sounds like he knows he's going to die, essentially. And while he's fighting the guy, he ends up... The green blade of his, the green sword, the tip of it ends up breaking when he hits the, when he hits the shield. So, yeah, he is about to die, and what I was not expecting was Asuna to pop in and take the hit. And she ends up dying, and, well, Kirito does not take it well. He acts like he's essentially broken when he goes in to attack him again. And, like, a haphazard attempt, essentially. And Kirito ends up getting a death blow to himself because of that. But, somehow, he ends up appearing as a ghost and finishing the guy off. How... Could somebody explain that to me, how that was possible? And because he did this, the game is cleared, and Asuna and Kirito assume that they're going to disappear and essentially die. And while this is going on, everything in Sword Art Online was being deleted. Thankfully, uh, they were able to save you a the other episode, and save it to a like a a USB drive in his helmet, so she won't be gone for good. And... Yeah. Kirito actually wakes up. He's not dead. So, yeah. Could somebody explain to me how Kirito was able to overcome death to kill Heathcliff? But... He actually did that with her blade. He used Asuna's blade... To make, do the final blow. Because Heathcliff had not the other other sword out of his hand. His black sword. And he ended up doing the killing blow with that one. So in a way awesome that did help him. Anyway. um, Yeah like I said I was not expecting that. To, and yet it shouldn't surprise. It didn't surprise me. I just wasn't expecting it to do that. Because usually with this sort of show. You would think that this sort of episode would happen at the end. Like the last episode of the season. Like episode 25. But, no, apparently not. Which is weird. Anyway, um... Yeah, it did actually make me cry a little bit. I don't know if you could tell during the reaction, but I was. Uh, I enjoyed the arc. I am eager to see how everything else will go in the rest of the episodes. But at this point, I've already gotten to episode 20. So I know how this is going to go. Or have an idea of how it's going to go. You know? Anyway, um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy the reaction. And I will see you all next time.